Hey everybody, we're the Chemical Atheists, I'm Dag. And I'm Minnie. Today we are doing this top 10 list on why America sucks. Top 10 problems with America, not why it sucks. <laughs> Practically it's just um, people saying why, what their opinion is. It's not really based on any facts, so. Well, some of them are based on facts. It's not even a top 10, it goes on for like 80 yeah, problems. the some title of them, is sort of misleading. Some of them repeat themselves, but that's okay. Yeah. So We're the, practically here to say why they're right and wrong. So the first one saying we don't have respect for the rest of the world. Uh, remember Facebook, the profile pictures on Paris, why we changed all our pictures to the their flag? It was to show respect for them and how... And our hearts go out to them because they got attacked. So I say just because of that, we do have respect for the world. Just some people think, no, USA is number one. This is one of the ones that only uses opinions. There's no facts in here. Yeah. The bottom one here, not the bottom one, they show like the top four um, responses. The bottom one of those top four, five, no. the One, two, three, four, five. All right, well. Count. Um, Almost didn't graduate. The last <laughs> one, <laughs> the last one says they think the USA is the only country in the world. I'm not going to read the like third one, fourth, fourth. Fuck off. The fourth <laughs> one. <laughs> the uh, second from the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to read the fourth one because it's a paragraph two or three, four, and five. And they it think, just dribbles on. They anyway. think the USA is the only country in the world, really, uh, because I don't think that's accurate. <laughs> Any sane person wouldn't say you, USA is the only country in the world. No, there's Mexico, there's Canada. And if they're saying it like that, they're saying it's the only country that matters. And that's kind of a stupid thing to say. Oh, definitely. Because the whole world matters. Oh, yeah. All right, so we're going to scroll down. Number two, All right. drugs. Drugs are bad. Okay, um, let's just read the last one again because I, I love this one. Drugs should be illegal. All of them. <laughs> All of them. From the, Could you imagine from the, the Iron chaos. Sabbath priest? Could you a priest? A priest said that. <laughs> Probably. <not really. laughs> yeah, no, I guarantee. Um, so, could you imagine the streets? How many people just gazing off into st the space or having seizures, dude? <laughs> could you imagine <laughs> seeing, awesome. seeing like someone? George, what are you doing? <laughs> And okay. there's constantly music playing. That would be awesome. Oh my like god, loud yes. German techno music. That would yes. be fucking glorious. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> Everyone's Let's... having seizures. Well, <laughs> I think that you are very wrong that all drugs should be legal because drugs are bad. Marijuana is not that bad. No. No, <laughs> no it's not bad not at all, sure. really. And the reason for that is it doesn't really stick around with you after you use it. It's sort of like a, an effect. You kind of like, like it. It's like a relaxant. Yeah, relax. Is that the right? Yeah, probably. I think so. Probably. So, <clears throat> marijuana, yeah, like the effects will wear off, and then you won't sort of have intense cravings yeah. of it after one or two uses. Yeah. Heroin, however, you take some, and, <laughs> and you're just kind of fucked. Like, yeah, you're like, oh my god. You're not was, going to work. That was the best. That was the best. I gotta get more. Then you run out of money, then you end up, you know... Abandoned hotel room and on a shredded up mattress with needles. Yeah, it's the same thing with LSD, Ooh. coke, and acid, and all the other ones, but not marijuana. Yeah, and right. the top one, <laughs> drugs are taking over our country. What do you think of that one? I, I don't know. Yeah, how, some, how are they taking over our country? I think a person that posted this is probably saying marijuana. Yeah, because that's the only thing I'm really seeing on the internet, not no crack cocaine. I would say the only way he could say that uh, drugs are taking over America, or the, our country, uh, as he says it, is um, if a, Obama came out and he was just, like, blasted on marijuana, or, like, <laughs> drunk off his ass. Yeah, man, That's, he uh, admitted that he did marijuana. Well, I think everyone does at one point in their life. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, that's just kind of, like, the thing to do. Yeah, unless you're, like... Um, Number three, the education okay. system. <laughs> okay, education! Woo! If the people were educated properly, with a full, unfiltered understanding of history, with no biasisms, over half of these problems would diminish, and there would be no such thing as common sense. What? Don't put such 
What's a that? thing again as common sense. But common sense is really Co it's common sense. Yeah, it's common sense. <laughs> it's, uh, it's like, should I put my fork in the toaster? No. <laughs> that's dangerous. Yeah, that's common sense. So it's, it's like it's, facts you already know. So if people were educated, the economy would go go up. I don't. I don't think that's how it works. But uh, drugs might go away. Eh, a little bit. Barack oh, wait, Obama will not go away. Number four is Barack Obama. He won't go away. Yeah, but I just want to address something right here. Take down exams, tests, and better school system. What do you think of that? GG. <laughs> just GG. GG. That's a good, good game. That's good a game. good idea. Okay, so take down exams. Um, yeah, I don't agree with standardized tests at all because really, the test I took, the proficiency test, you don't need that shit. You don't need any of that. Oh, right. When am I going to read a, do a better dog named Shiloh <laughs> in the real world <laughs> and what the key word was? <laughs> I don't like algebra because that held me back almost like 10 times <laughs> out of 12 years. I could handle like kindergarten math and first grade and then I had a second grade teacher who was a bitch and then I never learned math. Well, for me it was third grade. Yeah, I just kind of failed after second grade. <laughs> Same That's here. just how it works. The fourth problem is Barack Obama. Obama is being blamed for Bush's screw-ups. Some of them, actually. Some, Some of them, them, but he's kind Not of fucked all. his own self on this. Well, in our well, uh, presidents, all of them are... They have their bad qualities. Yeah. That's all I had to say. Everybody's got pros and cons. Yeah. All right, next. I just, the media. My thing is Barack Obama is most of the con, though, but anyway. No, like, oh, not because he's media. black, though. No, not because <laughs> of that. You're going to rub it up, people. Uh, the, oh, media. <laughs> the media. Reality TV shows that focus on top models, dancing stars, fashion, faux. Faux pass? Faux pass. Real housewives and swamp people are, no, 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 completely no, 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 no. Are completely dumbing down our population. All right. No, well, swamp people, I like. I like swamp people because okay. it actually brings a historical element. All right, well, that's great and all, but he's saying it's dumbing down the population, and I don't I don't think dumb... I don't think that's accurate, I wouldn't say. No. I don't know. I don't think I don't because I want swamp people, I'm like, Ugh, gators, gotta, I mean, get, gotta just, get them gators. No, it's a fun show to watch. Mostly it's just... Drama and yeah. people like drama. Yeah, people really like the celebrity drama for some reason. I'm not into that, but some people no, crave it. Reality TV shows that focus on top models. Okay, they want they, people that look some good. Some people um, look up to the models and they want to know what they're doing, what yeah. their secrets are. And they look good on TV. Yeah. So, dancing stars. People like watching people dance and so the drama behind the it all. One? Okay, the last one says the media is evil in America. Okay. Depends on the media. It's influencing people in the wrong direction. Our media should promote critical thinking and peace. Instead, it teaches the exact opposite. How does it teach the exact opposite? It's not really teaching war, but yeah. I think it's focusing a little bit too much on the drama. Drama, negative sides, other than positive. <clears throat> yeah, I think we should be covering more scientific things, but there's media that covers it, so. Oh, yeah, definitely. So. <laughs> Smart sound. Uh, <laughs> bullying. <laughs> Woo! Something I know about. So many. <laughs> Something I know about. <laughs> so bullying. Some some many people think Vietnam flashback. <laughs> some some many people think that bullying makes kids stronger. No. No. And he says that it's wrong. Bullying makes kids skip school on average over ten percent. Don't know the accuracy of that number, but we're gonna roll with it. <laughs> Of victims have skipped school specifically to avoid being bullied over 160,000 students per year. I don't know how. Yeah, that that, that figure might be either above or below. It's kind of for all I know. I'm a 13 year old. This is another one. I'm a 13 year old girl who's been bullied her entire life, and death is a thought that often finds its way into my head. Which I think is becoming a problem actually now. Yeah, it's a big problem, yeah. and we're trying to. Yeah, I say there should be more. Um, focused on medical help for them. Yeah. If they want it, it's not like you have to go. Yeah. Just what they want. My friends and family and my boyfriend is the only reason why I won't kill myself. Which I think that's the most case for all of them. Yeah, I think that's... Sadly, but true. Yeah. 
The reason why I have just now decided to share this is because someone who is very important to me is going through what I went through my entire life. You should probably help them. Yeah, so. that's <laughs> like your sort of perfect. Okay, we're yeah. going. I almost grabbed your phone there. It was kind of weird. Yeah, don't don't reach out. I was bullied, and I think if this is another one. I was bullied, and I think it would be stopped if only people didn't care about themselves so much as other people. If you get rid of your social status. I hate how it sounds important. It's a lot easier to help people that need to either physically or emotionally. I don't know if that was like mm. poorly written or poorly read. And maybe a little bit of both in there. Yeah, probably. I kind of didn't comprehend most of it. Yeah. <laughs> what they're saying is um, people are more uh, selfish than wanting to help others. But that's opposite for me. I like to help others, actually. Yeah. It's hard being bullied because you feel unimportant. And, like, you deserve nothing. That's kind of, like, the point of bullying, isn't it? And teachers don't always show support. That is very true. That is so fucking Oh, my God. My elementary teacher, Miss Della France. Oh. Oh, my God. The girls used to bully yeah, me. Yeah, I know. And they would go to I her. I was in your class. I fucking hate well, they weren't in my class. Oh, yeah. True. <laughs> I was in your class. And the <laughs> audience is me. I remember. Okay, we're going to number yeah, seven yeah. terrace. Whoa, terrorism, that everybody. Step up. Terrorism, bad. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Though we do have a lot of problems to solve, terrorism is by far the worst. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't think. I don't think. Uh, it's kind of sub. It's a toss up. But yeah, uh, it's pretty up there. Yeah, it we depends on how you value that. certain things. Death toll or. Yeah. I don't know. Well, it depends on what department you're thinking Most about. economy and not the biggest issue. Most. Bobby the Brony says, "Great. Most Americans don't care because they elected one." What is he saying, Barack? Yeah, Obama I don't is. think Barack Obama's a terrorist, but yeah, he's he, not the best president. But he's not. If a terrorist. he was a terrorist, I'm pretty sure we would have noticed. Yeah, all of whoever. Terrorists are so bad. <laughs> I hope whoever becomes president, pre I hope whoever becomes presidents, gets them to stop these stupid wars. I don't think they will. Like. We're moving on. Hey, All right. <laughs> no respect for those older in the U.S. Fuck you. Corruption. <laughs> Did you say U.S.? It's us. Did I Isn't say it? it? Yeah, you said U.S. Well, it's on the topic of America. I fucked it. Did I? I probably did. Yeah, you did. Oh, well. Older than... Okay, no respect for those older than us. Okay, I have quite a few things to say. All right, we'll say them closer to the oh, sorry. <laughs> computer. Yeah, you're making me get up. Not like crazy anyway. close, but... Um, where was it? Okay. This one, I say this was sort of a bold assertion. While it is true that many kids do not respect their elders, many? Are you sure that it's a lot more than the population, less than the population? Anyway, I think a lot, of, a lot of kids respect elders because most of them are family members that they know. They learn to respect their elders because their family members are elders. Yeah, and the ones that don't respect their elders are probably just dicks anyway. Our... Elders are wiser, and most kids and teens treat them with absolutely no respect. That's false. That's false. With age does not come wiseness all the time. Yeah. Knowledge, usually, unless you've got a little bit of the downs. But or if you're talking about working experience, that could be the case, because yeah. definitely an elder would be working more than but a like teenager. But, like, intelligence? No. That varies. I've seen some pretty stupid elderly people. <laughs> <laughs> and not just like the ones that are 80 and going to die in five days. And no. most teen kids and teens treat them with absolutely no respect. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> what do they say to them? <laughs> Fuck you, <laughs> Dad! <laughs> Fuck you, you <laughs> fucking old guy! <laughs> I opened the door for an elderly person. He did not say thank you. Oh, bro. Oh, my goodness. I hold the door open and I don't get a thank He's you. He's a fucking terrorist. <laughs> How dare you not say thank you? I say thank you, but if I didn't, I hope you're not really that mad to go post about it. Just know that I'm grateful. Yeah. It's like, oh, hey, he did a nice deed. Just don't expect a thank you on your return. It's oh, dude, nice. Bobby the Brony's back. Knock a Perfect. few teeth out of the little bastards. That'll be the job. That's assault. That's assault. That's assault. Yeah, We're that's, moving on. That's illegal. Right? right. <laughs> Did you hear that, guys? Yeah. They can... <laughs> Throw that away. Go. 
<laughs> made the loudest sound. <laughs> the we were silent. <laughs> <laughs> Corruption. Corruption and a stupid political agenda will be the end of the U.S. Other countries and foreign investors basically own us with all the debt that they that we've compiled. So what does the government do to stop this from continuing? They cut a few billion dollars from the budget and propose a health care reform costing over a trillion dollars. Do you think we should stop spending any monies at all? Because I feel like you would fucking die. I can't remember what president, but president actually took time into weeding out corrupted uh, politi political leaders. It was the worst thing ever, actually. <laughs> Everything went downhill for some reason. I didn't know some corruption was good. I was like, what? Yeah, I know. Of, um, you know. Like when they banned alcohol and they're like, hey, everyone's gonna so not drink alcohol. Be good. And, and then, then there then... were people with guns. Yeah. In the streets, <laughs> oh, like, no, fuck gangs. You. Oh, no. Fuck oh, you. Oh, Take no. my alcohol. <laughs> so many corrupt politicians in office that would rather serve special interests than the people. In the United States of America. I think that's true. Actually. Well, special special interests, their interests are... Of the, the American people. Of the American people, because they are American people. That's sort of yeah, why they're I, elected in the I wish place. there wasn't as much corrupt politicians as there are, but... Yeah. Can't really do anything, can you? Right, can't really, Just like you oh, never know. Damn it. Oh, dude. Anti-patriotism. Oh, I love this one. Oh, well, then talk about it. All right, well... <laughs> <sighs> yes, I do live in America, but I'm not that patriotic. Actually, I people are getting up in arms about the flag burning on the Fourth of July. I say it's just a form of freedom of speech, and you can do it whenever you want. And I might not be the most patriotic, but I'm glad to be in this country. Yeah, I think you can burn. You should be able to burn the flag. As long as it's not like somebody else's flying. Yeah, if it's your own property. You can't just go around your neighborhood. Ha ha, fucker. Ha <laughs> ha. That's fuck America. <laughs> Bobby the Brony has something to say here. Oh, I love Bobby the Brony. Liber lib liberals. Great. Liberals. I'm kill myself. Liberals are unpatriotic. They care more about Muslims, illegal Mexicans, and homos more than better. I don't like Bobby the Brony very much. Me he neither. always has bad things to say about things. It's new too, so he's gone. He's probably gone through all of these, has he? Oh no, not on rape. No. Oh, there he is. Oh, we're going to see him in bad music. Yeah. All right, anti anyway, okay. well, This video is going to go on for like 50 minutes. It's fine. This is fun. I like, uh, yeah, I like long videos. Yeah. Anyway. Um, hold, hold so let's just go to hold liberals on. are on Patreon. What? <laughs> I was going to address the mic quality. Oh. The reason the mic uh, quality isn't as good as our other ones, and not saying our quality has ever been good, <laughs> but it's worse than <laughs> usual. Yeah. Because our microphone that we're using is just a, a sort of crappy Xbox headset that works on the Xbox just fine, but doesn't really work on our computer really well. Yeah. And it wasn't sensitive enough to pick us both up clearly when we were right next to each other. Yeah, so, so right now we're just using the laptop microphone. Which is way sad. I could whisper and you no, could hear it. You can hear me right now, can't you guys? Of course you can. Stay sexy. Okay, well. Moving on. <laughs> anti addressing that. So, back to uh, Bobby the Brownie. Liberals are on Patreon. That's not true. Off the bat, that's not true because you're assuming the whole liberal popula population is, in fact, unpatriotic. Which, no. I guarantee most of them are. And that they care more about Muslims, that's still another bold assertion. They care more about what he's saying is they want equal, not equal rights from us. They don't want us to specifically target Muslims for anything. So they're probably going to be against Trump with that one. Because he um, sort and that's like his thing. He wants to not yeah. have Muslims coming in. Yeah. And I think that's why he's saying, but they do, that doesn't mean they care about Muslims, more about Muslims. They just care more about like the rights of just people in general. Yeah. They care more about illegal Mexicans. Uh, some of them, Probably do think and they should be. We're not the here. most liberal, by the way. No, we're. I'm more conservative. Yeah, I'm more conservative myself. Um, um illegal Mexicans. What? I, I think what he's saying is that um, we shouldn't be focusing. No, that they are focusing on more on it because. Uh, I I think some liberals I put this? or a good amount of liberal, I'm not sure what the numbers are want to uh, make it so 
people who are here illegally can become uh, legal while they're here. And that I don't agree with that. I think I, our system right now, have them, uh, if they're American, they should take a test. Yeah. And if they pass that test, you can become a legal citizen. Instead mm -hmm. of um, coming here illegally, having a kid, and you're sort of anchored here. And I think it should be easier. Hardik, our Indian friend, has had the worst time trying to get to America. Yeah. It is an Indian, as in India, not Native American. So, <laughs> Hardik, if you're listening, you are amazing. I love you, Hardik. I love you. I love your hard dick. God anyway, damn it. <laughs> homos. <laughs> 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 Time. So they care more about Muslims, illegal Mexicans, and homos more than veterans. Not so, sure. like, why should veterans be put on the highest pedestal of any... Oh. You, don't pick at that. That's, okay. I don't Sorry. even know what that is. But Me neither. That's why I'm picking at it. Germs or something. Okay, know. anyway. Um, yeah, veterans, they did fight for our country, and I am grateful yeah. for them. I am glad they served. And there are issues with homelessness and stuff. In yeah, there. I, I seriously, seriously, well, I want to help them. Yeah. That's one of the priorities but, I would like to see up there. Yeah. But on the other hand, they're not God. They're yeah. not like God status. Yeah. God is real. Yeah, by the way. <laughs> by the way, but, just to end that in there. <laughs> well, but if there was a God, I mean. they are not God. Yeah. You know what I mean. Like, they should they not be sh above every person yeah. that is, exists. We're, we're all yeah. people. Poor infrastructure, 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 faggot. Anyways, rape. <laughs> <laughs> they yeah, sexually of... abuse our children. <laughs> Who? Who? <laughs> Why? Why are they doing this? They shouldn't be doing it. Is it the fucking Muslims? God damn. <laughs> the guy down here says, dang it, America. Why? This is a very important social issue. We need to stop this. Um, we need to stop rape. Um, okay. Yeah, we've I been think, trying. Honestly. I think everybody <laughs> agrees with trying to stop rape. Okay, well, I was sexually abused as a child, and I know a lot of people in my hometown who are victims as well. What is saddening about this issue is that no justice brought to most victims. Not true. Not true. Not true. I just want to, if my cousin is listening, I'm not going to say any names, but I'm sorry for saying the story, but... Um, Trigger warning. Yeah, just in case any of you are fucking not stupid. Um, <laughs> That's stupid to be triggered. I'm, just, I'm kidding. PTSD. I'm kidding. Austin, it's you? gone. You fucked it up. <laughs> you fucked up. Pretend there's porn on the screen. There's not porn on the screen. <laughs> no, there isn't. It's that'd a black be, screen. That would be awesome if there was porn on the screen, though. We were just quitting. Uh, yeah. Anyway, back to my story. Uh, my uncle sexually abused my cousin, and last Monday, actually, um, he got... He's getting life into prison, and I'm glad. I'm glad to see him in prison. I also hope he gets shanked, which he most likely will. He can't survive in prison. So there is justice. You just gotta address it and have evidence if you can. If not, they'll most likely um, push and push and try to get other charges brought up to him, so that he can confess and hopefully get a reduced sentence. He thinks, but not really. What well, What we see is when. People start, um, when, when somebody is accused of rape, there has to be evidence. Yeah. But what these like people the want, Cosby. yeah, what these people want is for them to just be believed that they were raped. Yeah. And the problem when that happens, <laughs> sorry, Bill Cosby is the most popular one right now. <laughs> Not right now. I mean, he well, was he's still several months ago. Yeah. But most popular recently in general. Yeah. yeah. What was I even saying? You fucked it up. I did. Sorry. What you were saying um, that they're that they just. Want oh, what to what happens is um, women start accusing men who are innocent, and they get thrown in prison. This has happened several times in the past, uh -huh. and this is just kind of this video is just done. Uh, there's a fucking word for what? Uh, improv. It's improv. We're just sitting here talking. Oh, yeah, we're just computer. talking. We're just having going with the flow. So, so I don't have really all the time. I'm not going to edit this, really. I'm, we're not going to bring crazy amounts of evidence into this, just personal experiences and yeah, um, kind of what we, think, what we think. If you don't think what we say is true, you can put it in the comments you or can, you can look it up yourself and then disprove us in the comments or prove us and supply evidence in the comments. Yeah. The 12 people I watched this video. Yeah. Gay rights. <laughs> Yay! Gay rights, not a problem in America. Uh, no, as a it, person it's, it's not. It's not. It's not a problem. This is number 12, by the way. Thus, I'm glad uh, there's proving. gay rights, actually. Yeah. 
I think Get to them. <laughs> just too many homosexuals is always a sign of the decline of, of a political system. How? how? Too many homosexuals. There's like... like Could you percent. imagine just one guy just taking down notes? Uh, oh, is that one more? That's one more. Fuck, that's too many. That's too many. One less, I would have been okay. But that one fucking Tom. Just too many. There's like 5% of the population. Fucking Tom. Fucking Tom. Pushing it overboard. Always a sign of decline of a, a political system. I don't I don't know how um, progressive ideas mark a decline of a political system. As a political system. I mean, that's... Democrats uh, more of the left gay rights than Republicans. So. Which... I think we're going to get into this soon, but I'm not sure about the political parties, which I say... Yeah, I think it's down here somewhere about the two parties. It's bad music. Yeah. yeah. Woo! <laughs> How is bad music a problem in America? Uh, that's... <laughs> techno music? Fucking techno faggots. <laughs> that rap gosh <laughs> shit. <just> <laughs> faggots. All right, uh, anyways. That, <laughs> that rap god shit on my radio. <laughs> Fucking just bad M&Ms. Just don't listen to it. I don't... Yeah, I just oh, quit listening. This is where Bobby the Brony comes in. Whoa. AKA most of today's music that's pop or rap. That oh, damn god. So if, rap god. <laughs> if you don't like it, then don't listen to By it. By the M and M's <laughs> <laughs> AKA most of Bobby the Brony or fucking retard. But not because of that comment, because you're just sort of saying that. Well, just because of, of the other comments that we read so far. Just not as big as well. No, we're really bad. I, I don't know how that's uh problem with America as a whole, there it's just not our problem. Just don't listen to the music. It's your problem that you're upset about the music choice yeah. of like teens and younger people and older people. We all have our own type of um, fascination with music. Like um, Dag, he's more into dubstep than I am. I'm not that big of a fan. I'm more of a fan into punk rock and Country, actually. I yeah. like country. Uh, violence. So, yeah. Violence in America is a problem with America. <laughs> I was still on my topic. I don't care. Okay. Violence <laughs> is wicked. Here is dangerous. Here it's dangerous. At night. It's dangerous everywhere at night. Because yeah. You can't be seen. So that's why people kill at night. <laughs> Vi oh, from Bobby the Brony. Violence is good. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Bobby the Brony. <laughs> God damn it. We should have a quote like quote. <laughs> <laughs> Violence is good. Well, let's Violence. see let's see what he means. If some punk messes with you, you take out a point three five seven and show them who's boss. Especially no, that, if they're especially if they're Muslim. <laughs> illegal. Cops cops. Okay. Especially if they're Muslim, illegal. Cops or members of Black Lives Matter. Great. This guy is the worst guy. Right. I would just like to point that one out. Okay, I'm not saying I agree with Black Lives Matter, but they have their own... Uh, they have a right to yeah, exist. Even though I don't agree with them, I don't. I think I they know. should be more focused on nonviolence than violence. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty funny. No violence but black, black people. Oh. <laughs> oh, did you guys get shot by a sniper? I don't fucking care. That's like the, the response man? of a lot of them. Was it by the black man? Well, you know so, why? Because you were being racist. So if some puck messes with you, take out your gun. I don't know what point three five seven is. It's probably like a pistol or some shit. Yeah, and show them who's boss. Um, Assert your off, dominance over a person who's probably made a poor choice in their life at some point or another. It's just with a gun, show your dominance and kill them. Basically, is what you're saying. So ruin their life because they made a bad choice. I say, um, just make it harder to own a gun. Back more stricter background check, I would say. Yeah, it's not, definitely. And I believe in the concealed license. Yeah. And um, if someone is robbing you and you have a gun on you, yeah, take it out. I, I agree with that. Um, kind of threaten them, but don't kill them. That's, I understand that it's self-defense, but it's to a point, I would if say. You're if he is... Physically beating on you, then yeah, obviously take a shot. Or if you're back but if to you a just corner, took your wallet, threaten him. Like, hey, you better put that down, or I will shoot you. Or like shoot him in the leg or something. Like yeah, something that probably might well, not kill him. Yeah, it, well, it would still might kill him. But. Yeah, shoot him in the shoulder. Yeah, 
I just or a warning shot to let him know that the gun is a fucking functioning yeah weapon. That'll do it. I guarantee you. Not into the air though. You'll kill like some kid in Africa. <laughs> they don't go that far. <laughs> that would be it. crazy. Oh, dude, could you imagine? Oh, oh my god. god, assassins all over the world just. <laughs> There goes Fuck. Obama <laughs> <laughs> from ISIS. And there goes Trump. Yeah, but they don't go that far. And Clinton. But it is dangerous to oh. go up and shoot your gun up into the air. So don't do it, kids. <laughs> feel like the kids are going to have guns. Fuck yeah. <laughs> so especially if they're Muslim. Why? That's, that's a bit not racist because that's not racism, but that's a bit not okay to not, uh, uh, target a person specifically because of their religion. And we're atheist. Yeah, we're atheist, someone. And we're, like, really atheists. And again, why Muslims? I know that they are mostly the people that are radical. Yeah, they're mostly the ones doing the terrorism, but not all Muslims are bad. People need to get that through their thick Muslims skulls. aren't bad. Their religion yes. itself is yes. a bad thing. Yes, and the people who follow it to the T are the bad. The ones that just peacefully pray and believe, I... I Good for you. I'm yeah, good happy for you. For you. I uh, just, especially if they're Muslim, illegal. So I guess illegal Mexicans uh, or just illegal immigrants in general. Yeah, not just Mexicans. I mean, yeah. <sighs> but um, why call the police if you know that they're illegal or like report them to the police? No, they, there's a fucking Mexican, Mexican over here. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure he's not supposed to be here. <laughs> yeah, guarantee like, they won't take file a police report and border get, control. Get that sorted out. Like, hey, cops. Um, okay, <laughs> so especially the okay. cops. Why? Well, here's Why? my stance on this whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> the almost all of them that I saw the police shootings, they were justified. I'm going to say that right now. They were justified. They had a reason to shoot. They had a reason to think that there was going to be violence towards them. Therefore, they took the shot like they were trained to do. Yeah. So, uh, cops aren't bad, and even if they were, same as a Muslim thing, not all fucking cops. I'm going to go on a non-racist uh, direction here, but still probably interpreted as racist, no matter what I do. To well, clarify everything's that it's not racist. racist. Then, everything you know? is. You so, wear glasses, you must be a nigger. Is it wrong to say, to um, for a police officer to be more on guard when he's around, when he's um, pulling over an African-American person? They do, statistically speaking, commit more murders than the white population or the uh, Hispanic population. This is just a fact. It's not racist to say that. It is okay to look at the statistics and be like, maybe I should be more on guard. It's a high possibility to um, get shot in that scenario, especially depending on the neighborhood. You could be in like a, a gang re uh, known for its gang's area. All right, so number... 15. Wait, I want to say something about the whole uh, thing about the statistics. <laughs> if I can find the video again, I'm going to possibly put a link down in the comments, or if I can, put it in the description, because that video was actually very accurate, and it was well put together, so yeah, that might be in the description. Of so look comments. for that, whatever that video might be. All right. School bullies. We covered bullying up here, I think, didn't we? Let's see, it yeah, we was did. number six. Okay, yeah, I feel so, like I'm going to kill myself, kid. Okay, so this is specifically school bullies, though. That's a paragraph. Let's see. Nope, the one guy isn't here. Really? The big problem for the youth of America. Does he come? Does Bobby the Brody. He talks about black people. All right, hey. so we're going to skip. We're, we already covered racism. Though. We already covered bullying. Destroying the environment. All right. Well, America isn't single-handedly destroying the environment. I Everywhere fucking is. guarantee it. So. Next. <laughs> Protecting the drinking water. So are you saying we shouldn't drink water? Or are you saying that we shouldn't be pouring uh, pollutants down our drinking water system? Yeah. Which or you <laughs> think we should just not have, like, bottled water companies doing it? Oh, no. <laughs> I don't, like, I don't know what. Oh, no. Destroying the environment. Protect my water bottle. All, all this guy says is, it is correct. <laughs> Putting down all these trees to build houses and other things is doing nothing but lowering air and oxygen pollution. Let's well, not house people. Yeah. Well, the Woo! thing with that is... Well, we're if doing you, a swell job in Africa. <laughs> if you make your living from trees, 
surely you'll just plant more trees, and that's what they do. We're not running out of trees anytime soon. Yeah, um, actually, um, most people think gold mining is uh, destroying our resources, but it is required by law that you replant all the trees that you have destroyed, and if you don't, then you're possibly going to get fined a lot of money. It is by law. You have to by law protect the environment. I did do research on that because I was curious. I was watching a what was that? Gold Rush. Sorry. <laughs> Gold Rush. Gold Rush. Yeah. Uh, we have more indulgent people than we have the resources to support our way of life. What? Oh no, that's okay. He was drinking a thing of water. Yeah, I'm gonna, drinking water. I'm gonna drink some water too. All right, you talk. You, you talk about um, destroying the uh, second one. Obesity. Uh, the second one and destroying the environment. Oh, okay. We have more indulgent people than we have the resources to support our way of life. What's your way of life, honestly? I think he's talking about how much we consume, like food and stuff, and that's not a problem because farmers are farming. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're doing their job. And we have more farmers. <laughs> the more population we have, that's just how it works. Yeah. The more demand, the more farmers will have because of the market will go up for it and they'll be like, hey, farming's a good way to make money. That's how capitalism works. I don't think that's capitalism. It probably is. Cap Obesity, 17. <laughs> <laughs> kids are not just, wait, kids are just not worried about their health anymore. Snacks and junk foods are being pushed a lot more. I agree with that. Yep. I think... Mm -hmm. Junk food advertisements should not be allowed on TV that are specifically uh, targeted towards children. Yeah, and, and, uh, I don't know. McDonald's sort of steered away from that quite a bit, they, but yeah. they used to be yeah, like, used to be "Hey, like, kid, you're having a bad day. Here, go to McDonald's." And they still That'll have make those. you feel better after they, five minutes, give or take. Then you'll be hurting. <laughs> <laughs> and they have those like play areas for children. You shouldn't be catering to children. You shouldn't have those toys that come in with that fucking Happy Meals, mm -hmm. and or. My sister likes I'm glad your sister likes those, <laughs> but it's obesity. So yeah. Your sister is obesity. No, she isn't. <laughs> She's actually quite skinny. Insanity. Obesity. Is a wrap? Yeah, Food. but the toys and uh, yeah. fast food is like, hey, I want a toy, mommy. I want a toy. Well, you got to get, get a double deluxe cheeseburger to get it, though. You get two if you get the extra fucking calories meal. Food abuse while being inactive. Wait. While well, being in activity is very crucial in American health. So basically sitting around on your Xbox eating Twinkies. Yeah. And I <laughs> sit around on my Xbox, but I don't eat Twinkies. Hey, go ho. I think it's it's oh, not goodness. really the government's problem to uh, regulate that. Yeah. It's the companies person. it's the companies and the person. The person. I choose to eat McDonald's. I don't have to eat McDonald's. No, I can just forced. easily it's just the cheapest thing around that and it tastes good, and that's my choice. Yeah, around here there's nothing really to eat except McDonald's. That's not. Yeah, I, I like vegetables. I, I do like vegetables, most oh, yeah. of them. Yeah. If yeah. I if they weren't as expensive as they were, oh yeah, I would totally go for it. It's outrageous. Racism is a problem in America. Okay, I'm a victim. Sad face. Oh, oh. oh, dude, Bobby the Brony here. Okay, yes, this is Bobby the Brony. In this day and age, white people are not the racist. Black people are. Okay, no, I always no, love what he has all, to say. They're all, all, we're all racist. Come on, let's be honest. There's a problem with America. No, we're not. Time. Come on, we are all racist. In what ways? No, I'm not racist. Well, I didn't put that correctly. I'm sorry. <laughs> because I'm definitely not a racist. Yeah, not everybody, but certainly some, like some people. Racist. Like, there's at least one person in each ethnic. Okay, that no matter racist. what, you can't avoid racism. Yeah. It's just human nature to not like somebody who has a different ethnicity or way of life than that yeah, you like have. We didn't like their um, black skin color, so we enslaved them. That's not how it works, <laughs> but okay. But yeah. We're, we're going to skip racism. Eight, well, no, no. Murder. Murder. Murder is no, an issue. Yeah, uh, that. Oh, oh ah, Bobby the Brony. Yes. Sorry, but murder is a good thing. How? I don't, I don't get him sometimes. He's like, kill all fucking black people. But then he's, oh wait, violence are, is good. He said that. Violence is good. Murder, murder is good. good. Everything is good to him. I Rape is good. I don't think he represents society. Okay, so, Bobby the Roney. 
He's probably never gonna Let's watch this the video. Show. Never probably gonna watch this video. We're probably never gonna even know his real name, but still, if there is the slightest possibility, we're gonna here do a we video go. on you specifically. I mean, you can click on what because he, he's like a member, and he's right here. Oh, sweet. I'm pretty sure I can click on that. Okay, we'll do that later after we're done talking about that. Yeah. Okay, so. All right, so taxes. <laughs> well, skip taxes. It's not really a big topic. Yeah. It, just quick picture. Donald Trump, the America, America problem. Yeah. People stick with Trump. People stick with Clinton. I'm more of a Trump fan than Clinton. I, I, I don't know why he would be the problem with America. You guys <laughs> didn't elect him, but you brought him to where he is. If nobody liked him, then he wouldn't be running for this that long. And he wouldn't make it be to the top the, two. Yeah, you just wouldn't. Do yeah. it. So, if nope. he's the problem with America, Americans are the problem with America. Yeah. Pregnancy. No, no it's not bad. It's natural. Pregnant, pregnancy used to be a happy and beautiful thing. I just kind of walked away and came back. Pregnancy used to be a happy and beautiful thing. Now it's just, wow, another person is pregnant? Yeah, that happens when there's like 300 million people in the oh. United States. Did you hear about Brittany? Brittany? Well, she's just pregnant. It doesn't matter. I, people get pregnant. <gasps> oh my god, Amber, are you pregnant? I don't get how it's different. I don't know. I don't, get I don't know why people are annoyed by pregnancy. people living their lives and creating new lives. I mean, I guess Idiots. I can understand people saying, oh no, she, she's 16. Oh. Yeah. I do not think this, this is a problem. It's one. just a natural thing. That's what that person says. This is so true. More teens become pregnant, and then they want to get rid of it. They, uh, I, I'm for abortion. I'm for abortion. I'm for adoption. Yeah. I, th I think you should look into adoption before you go for your own kids. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. All right, so two-party system. That's an issue, yeah, because you only get, like, those specific views, and there's way more than that. There's yeah. environmentalist parties, there's libertarian parties, there's socialist parties yeah. that we're not even getting into. Yeah, third parties, which I say no parties. I say we should just have candidates run yeah. without the political parties and just have them talk about their issues, how they're going to solve it, what they believe in. And by the person, with the, what they think, well, you let them. It's not because they're Democrat, Republican, any. Those are two parties. So. On the two parties, the bottom guy says something weird. What? Texas may surprise you one of these days. What? <laughs> what? Are they going to secede? Are they going to declare? <laughs> is there like a secret plan? <laughs> is there a secret plan of Texas? He's in Texas right now and they're under the ground. <laughs> Guys, I got a plan. <laughs> We're gonna leave. I remember the last time we tried to leave and we failed. They still want to leave. We're gonna do it this time, <laughs> and this is how. And we're gonna watch our economy fail because we don't want America. People, we're just gonna fucking say, "Look, you were Texas." I don't think America would side with them because they just left us. It's probably gonna be like an aggressive secession. That's probably the word for it. Secession. Probably was you, one of you guys those. Know what I'm saying. And they're probably going to be like, hey, fuck you, America, and then leave. And then the Mexicans are going to be like, hey, America hates them, and that's our lost land. So we're going to attack. <laughs> I love how I make, I make fart, fart noises at every point. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, people that can't get their priorities straight. Wait, I want to say one more thing. Okay. Texas becoming your country. I know that it's probably way off topic, but still. I just love that idea of Texas breaking away because if we do break away, we'll, they'll probably have a hard relationship with us then. Then we wouldn't want to trade with them. And they'll probably be like, oh, fuck, we don't have any resources. And then they'll be like, America, Shit. take us back. America. Please. So number 24. I need your teeth. <laughs> I know we said this is top 10, but I did say it was going to go on for, I think I said, that was going to go on yeah, for like you, 80. You, yeah, you said that there are way more than 10. So It's just like the top 10, and those were the top Oh, 10. wow. This is actually a pretty long video. Yeah, we've been talking for a while. Oh, wow. Uh, people Times. that can't get their priorities straight. I wish Justin Bieber, narcissism, and neo-Nazis were our biggest problems. Well, they're not, so I don't know. Do you, How to address this one. Do you, do you think Justin Bieber should be our top priority? Because he's not really, really that threatening. No, to he's us. not important at all. Is he? No, not anymore. I mean... He was never really important for the government. Oh, no, 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 no. Not at all. 
Not one bit. It wasn't even one percent. <laughs> Neo Nazis, they have the right to say what they want as long yeah. as they're not hurting people. Hurting people, damaging other properties. Republicans are the problem with America, according to number twenty-five. True. Okay. <laughs> uh, Justin Bieber again, but uh, as number twenty-six. Let me clarify the Republican before people are like, huh? I thought you said you were conservative. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, um, like I said, with the two-party system. Democrat is the problem with America, and Republican is the problem with America. I wish they would just either disappear or collide, with, and all the parties just become one. So it's either one party or none. That's my I'm saying. All right, so according to number 26, Justin Bieber is the problem with America. Great. Great. Uh, enlighten us, Austin. Uh, he's not. <laughs> They're enlightened. This guy says, get this thing out of my country. That's not really the government's problem. He's Unless he's sure murdering fucking 30, not even 30 people, a person. No, they're like, oh, eh, maybe we should put him in jail. He's a person. Canadian. Ship him home. Well, he's here legally, so yeah, that would be illegal to ship him. Legally if here. I were in a room with Hitler, Justin Bieber, Bieber. and Bin Laden. Oh, let me guess this. Let me guess this one. They're all going. He's going to unload all on Justin Bieber. I had a gun with two bullets. I would just shoot Justin twice. Oh, oh! We didn't even oh, read that one before. I, we... I was looking directly at you. I just heard that so many times. Getting sickening. I was shoot. Oh, so he's worse than Hitler, the guy who killed a bunch of people. He's Genocide. worse than Bin Laden, who fucking signed off on throwing planes into the buildings and killing a lot of other people too. Great, Justin Bieber, who has sang songs, <laughs> is worse than Hitler. <laughs> And, because and, and Justin Bieber just annoyed America because oh, you decided no. to listen to him. Yeah. I mean, if you don't like Justin Bieber, don't listen to him. That's just If you how don't it like works. his um, fame, quit watching him. It's not that hard, guys. Find a new hobby. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to fucking hate on something. Good point. Uh, so we're going to skip 27 because it's I'm not going to hate on terrorists. I'm going to hate on this kid. <laughs> so we're going to skip the 26 or 27 because okay. it's just about war and stuff okay. that doesn't happen. Yeah. Free sex. Really such a bad, or, such bad relationships. Of so bad relationships, free sex, and so this is relationship issues. Okay, so this is just basically relationships and how they move on too fast, I would say, and how they just... On the first date? Yeah. yeah. That's just kind of how young relationships work. Uh -huh. That's how they've always worked. Yeah. That's how a lot of relationships in general work. Yeah. If they don't want to have sex, it's not just like the guys, I'm going to fuck you 10 times a day. Yeah. The, the girl can be like, no, let's yeah. not. And the guy would most likely go home. And try to pressure a little bit. Too but. much political correctness, number 29. True. Indeed. But we shouldn't be like, I don't like niggers. Yeah. That, that yeah, 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 yeah. No. no. <laughs> I can already see Trump. Niggers. Is that a nigger? You <laughs> should him out. Get <laughs> fucking Muslim cunt out of here. It's like, uh, oh no. High unemployment rates. Yeah. Yeah, that's an issue. I think Obama did some stuff to help that, though. He but... raised it, what, 0.8%? <laughs> yeah. Woo. <laughs> Notice yeah. that wasn't even a woo, it was a woo. Unemployment. This guy says, if you have no job, frankly, that's your fault. And I would say, yeah, no, that's, kinda. Um, but in our uh, small community, yeah. it's hard to get a job. Where we are living, I am fortunate enough to get a job, but off of a fluke. Yeah. Serial killings, I think that's just kind of a bad thing, no matter what. Yeah. Yeah. AIDS. That. AIDS is the problem with America, guys. Woo. This is a big problem. Oh, wait, that wasn't guys. a woo. <laughs> <laughs> I hear people who AIDS. This is a big problem. Woo, AIDS. <laughs> Woo. You get AIDS. Oh, no, you Oprah. You have AIDS. You have AIDS. You have AIDS. Check under your seats. AIDS. <laughs> oh, Inject no. Inject it now. <laughs> it's a needle. <laughs> oh, God. Yay, one's injected of heroin. You're gonna fucking die. One's heroin. Is this AIDS? Oh, no, you got heroin. There's a really, there's a really simple. Put a bullet through the genitals slash head of anyone ah. with AIDS. That's no, that's extreme. That's we go back to the number thirty-two, which is a problem with America. That's serial killing, and that is more than that's worse than serial. That's genocide, actually. <laughs> yeah. 
killing of a specific group, mass killing yeah. of a specific group. Yeah. Anyone with AIDS. So I think we should go around killing anyone with, uh, I don't know, cancer because they're gonna die anyways. Dead. I think oh, we already. I was that. gonna uh, kill people with um, bad eyes. Christ- <laughs> Christianity being infringed. Number thirty-five. Religion's- no, that's a good thing. That's all I'm gonna say is Christianity being infringed. Wait, okay, continue. No, you can use the. Uh, um, no, what were you going to say? Fourth comment. Religion oh. sucks Satan's juicy black nail-covered cock. Oh my god, that's the best thing. I don't... Oh, wow. I that's, don't think they do. <laughs> but, wow. okay. Anyway. <laughs> Christian, Christianity being infringed on is not an issue. I say that's an achievement. <laughs> Yay. More people are trying to say, hey, um, let's put childish beliefs behind us. Let's not define... Let's not make that one feature define us. Yeah, definitely. I'm trying to at least think outside the box. If you, if you truly, honestly believe it, believe it. Just don't try to force it on me. Thirty six goes hand in hand. So with I the, think uh, infringing obesity. on religion is actually an achievement. Uh, yeah. Indeed, I think we all agree. Not Christianity. Probably not. <laughs> not Christianity. Not Christians. <laughs> not Christian. <laughs> the uh, whole religion doesn't agree. <laughs> so 36, the food we eat that is covered by the uh, obesity. One up. Up always. Abortion's a problem in America. You should let them go. You should let them grow up. <laughs> you should uh, you shouldn't no. have included the, the up in the okay. second one so you could rhyme it and it'll be good. <laughs> What's your stance on this, uh, Austin? On abortion? Uh, abortion. Oh, they all right. Said <laughs> no, I, uh, there yeah. is um, a limit, I would say. I mean, you can't just keep going in every nine months. Yeah. Abortion. I, I say after three times, you only get a three card punch. <laughs> once that's it, once that third one's punched, it's like a, you have to have the kid. Yeah. You uh, you can adopt, uh, put it up for adoption. But I don't think you should just keep on going. I think there should be, yeah. There's a reason for birth control. So, the next one is Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus is a problem. And then, they didn't show the comments, so I had to pull them up. So, it's going to be a bitch to get back, and it's going to take like 20 minutes. But it's okay. She gets me happy. She is a bad influence. How is this a problem? This person says, I would agree with you on that. Oh, so this, these are people like it. Not really. Fish gang for life, blub blub. I'm fish gang now, bro. Blub blub blub. I don't. Goldfish 4K. What? <laughs> I don't know. 401K. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. we already done all these ones. Fruity yeah. or just past tobacco. Tobacco is probably. Feminism. Very drug or drug. Woo! Feminism! Feminism is bad. It, well, not feminism, but extreme feminists. Yeah. Basically, the new one's ones. One's basically saying, fuck men. Genetically modifying. Genetically. Yeah, but you spelled it wrong. Yeah. Genetically. Genetically modifying. So I think this is... Uh, st- oh, foods. Foods. Oh. Oh, shit. Sorry. I thought it was something totally different. Genetically modified food is... Okay. Because they get made better. Yeah. Oil prices. More that's vitamins. Not really the problem Protein. with America. That's a problem with there just not being a lot of oil in the world. And there is a lot of oil, but it's going suicide. Suicide problem. Keemstar is Keemstar is definitely the problem. Fuck you, Keemstar. Fuck it. We'll just care. go to fifty in the line. I, I think that's all it goes care. up to actually. No, no. no whoa. Okay, let's just let's just go to the last one on the list on the last page. Well, like, no, it's on a global the, warming is a problem with America, guys. Top 10 less having 80 things on it. I agree yes, with 47. Yes, yes, 47, you are. Uh, the economy. Right. This has gone on for almost an hour. That's interesting. It is Fifty. literally time four. for you to go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Beating on women is a problem. Homosexual mafia. <laughs> <laughs> you um, have my deal, though? Oh, well, God. you better pay up, honey. <laughs> We're the mm. chemical <laughs> This was the Chemical Atheist. I was dumb dag. And I'm Minnie, and you better subscribe to this channel or oh, else. Oh, we gonna fuck your ass. Mm.